Hey everyone, this is Travis Likens from the UVD Weekly Wrap-Up and we're here today at DesignerCon 2016 talking to the one and only Huck Gee. How's it going today? It's going great. It's yeah. a good day. So you're here at DesignerCon. What do you think of the show? It's awesome. There's uh, there's a lot of inspiration and, uh, and it's fun and I'm running into all the people I haven't seen in a good year or two or more and uh, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so this has been a, a big year for your platform, The Blank. And uh, you've had a couple of different sizes released this year. Um, what are something that people might be looking for in the future on that? Are there going to be more colorways, different sizes, different heads? I don't know. <laughs> well, I think the first is I'm actually going to be able to get them in store. Okay. <laughs> so uh, actually starting next week, I'm going to have another batch in store and I'm upping up the quantities and getting it in production so that I can regularly have them in the store. Yeah. Um, I'm doing it all in-house and it's you know it's small batch and it's a small team so I go as fast as I can but I'm trying to grow it and I think as we get into next year maybe before the end of this year we might start doing some variations. Originally the blank the skull the skull head version was just going to be a variant. Yeah. It was the first one I put out and I've just never gotten around to all the other variations so yeah. um, getting some elements in house and some tools in house that will allow me to finally focus on getting everything out and making it a, a worthwhile uh, platform that people can get their hands on. Yeah, so. and it, it seems like it's been a, a runaway success winning a designer it's toy fun. award and um, everybody seems excited whenever you have the releases. It's really cool to see the different sizes and the colors you used. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see what else you do with yeah. it. Yeah, oh, and I may be able to, may, <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm, I'm I'm running the numbers right now. I think I'm going to be able to get the price down a little bit more oh, too. Even so, even <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. So. so that's exciting news. Uh, you also have uh, other projects with people like Popper. Is there anything like that that you're able to talk a little bit about? Um, I have. Do, 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 do. What do I got? Thanks, Mighty thanks. Jacks. Um, I have the next figure. The the full color ones will be out soon. Okay. Probably another. I think it's January now is the is the ship date. We have the fourth figure um, prototype. Got it on my phone, uh, and uh, we're gonna start doing maybe some larger ones. Okay. And uh, as of this month, I start working on all the rest of the characters in the series and the some larger variations. There's been talk. I've teased it a few times of doing. A wolf rider in yeah. that scale, the wolf, the yeah. figure, and some other things. So it's all going into production. Yeah. It's all starting to go into production, which means I'm making templates and sketching and, and everything else. I think the coolest part about the, the, the new, I guess, reincarnation of the, the gold life idea is that you're now free. You don't have the platform anymore. So you're free to do the shapes and designs that you yeah. uh, intended to do. Yes. So yeah, you're, not, you're not stuck like going back into the platform. Yeah, although the, you know that is a challenge in and of itself. It's also um, it's a bit of a crutch, yeah. you know? Um, and I, and yeah, I'll, I'll admit to that. I mean, it, it's, it, it's fun and it, and it's, and it does it does challenge you to apply everything into that. But, you know, and especially, uh, this is we're talking about the two, where the, what I'm doing with Mighty Jacks, they've given me free reign as far as like accessories and sculptural yep. detail. So it's no longer just a pad print yep. of a pouch or uh -huh. you know something blowing in the wind yep. or whatever. I can actually, it's a sculptural detail yep. now, which is, fuck, that's great. That, yep. that puts in the detail that I want in there. Yeah. So. And uh, what was it like working on the uh, collaboration piece with uh, JPK that recently launched? Correct. The pauper, uh, the that one, that's awesome. It's and I feel <laughs> I feel a little guilty. And, and it, his version yep. was the first version. Yep. They showed he showed it to me and was like, "Would you like to do a variation?" And I was like, "Yeah, but can I stick my own skull head in there and do that?" Yep. And just due to production and everything else, yeah. that one's came out first. Yeah. And I've talked to JPK about it. He's right over there, and it's like, dude, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like jump. Like, well, let's get yours out there too. Yeah, yeah and it's so a, it looks like a really cool figure, and for what I've seen, it's a really large figure. As far as like with that head's, it's huge. There. One of the downsides that I've just discovered, I knew it when I saw it, is because it's got like hands out, and and it's got these huge horns on the helm, and you don't, as an artist or something, you don't necessarily take this into uh, account when you design something. Um, the box to package that is like yay by yay by <laughs> yeah. yay. 
So to ship those out here, yeah. you're adding ten to fifteen dollars on the price. Even yeah. I, I want some to wholesale in my store. Yep. All of a sudden, my wholesale price has jumped. You know, a huge yeah. amount. So. Yeah. It's whatever. If there's people out in the <clears throat> designer toy world or art world that's not following you, is there a place where people could keep up with your latest uh, antics on social yeah, media? Yeah, you could go to huckg.com, H-U-C-K-G-E-E.com. You could go to, you could plug that name into Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of them. You'll find me. Okay, awesome. So everybody out there in YouTube land, make sure to follow this guy. He's got a lot of projects upcoming and a lot of stuff that's been, you know, kind of the gold standard for designer toys for a long time. So, uh... Everybody out there, though, have a great designer toy day. Hey, everyone. This is Travis Likens from Token Nerd Podcast, and I'm here today to tell you something about sponsorship. That's right. Token Nerd now has a sponsor. The fine folks at TenaciousToys.com, your source for designer toys, pop vinyl, original art, and more, are now our sponsor. And guess what? As a part of that, you can get 10% off your next order at TenaciousToys.com by entering the code TOKEN10 at checkout. That's right, 10% off. And not only are they giving you this code, they're also going to be sponsoring many of our Token Nerd giveaways in the next coming months. So make sure to follow us at token underscore nerd on Instagram to catch our latest giveaways.